game started. And then Alex, Alex eighty two, starts off with e four. Well, let's how about how about a French defense? And uh, should I go with the classical line again? I really botched a classical French recently. Maybe I can play it a little better this time. Okay. Remember to watch out for a knight b5. Now he's playing the um, Alakhan Chatard attack. I'm going to ignore it. <laughs> I'm going to play a6 so I can play c5 without having the knight hop in here. Actually, yeah. Yeah, knight here to here is a problem because this bishop is effectively pinned. If I take the bishop, it opens up this uh, rook file for a nice attack on my king, so I'm not in any hurry to do that. I'm just going to play the normal stuff here, going after the center and leaving this configuration on the king side for the moment, see how he develops his pieces. So I was the one moving fast here. I should probably slow down and think. I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, this is not a book position that I'm familiar with, although it could very well be in an opening book somewhere. I wonder if he's just going to push on with F5 here. I don't think that works. I'm going to take here, take there. So he takes first. Okay, so I take with the knight, I guess. And now if he pushes on with um, f5, I can take on e5. This knight is effectively loose because of the pin on my bishop. Okay, and he kicks it right away. Um, I think it was okay on d2. It could just go back there. Can't go here, 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 or he could go here. That is a possibility. Knight here. Knight takes, pawn takes. Queen takes, knight takes maybe. Would be a way to get the queens off and make this attack less dangerous. But it would leave me with doubled pawns here, and that's, this pawn might be a weakness. Let's just drop back and see what his plan is. Where can his pieces go? The knight can come out to these squares. Bishop, bishop out here maybe. Bishop to d3. Um, maybe he's not going to castle at all. But it is kind of open and airy around his king here. I think developing the knight is the most logical thing to do. And what is my counterplay? How am I? How am I get something? How do I get something going against this? Yeah, right there. F uh, six comes to mind. It hits the bishop. Pawn takes. Pawn takes. Or even knight takes. This um, pawn on e six. Yeah, if I take with the knight, that would be defended by the bishop. I take with a pawn. Where is his bishop going? To h6. Can I trap it? Say pawn takes, bishop h6. Hmm. Hmm. I don't see a good way to trap it. I need to get a knight to this square. And the queen's kind of in the way. Okay, so let's take with the knight. That's probably the more normal thing to do anyway. Bishop defends e6. This knight uh, seems reasonably well posted here. My knight maybe could hop into that square. He's going to just uh, <clears throat> put a knight there. That's okay. Let's take the knight. So knight takes, pawn takes, and this knight has to move. It can go back where it came from, putting pressure on the pawn here. All right. Now I can't go to these squares. Okay, so there's a problem where the queen can come out here. That's, that's the issue. Knight takes, pawn takes, knight back to d2. Queen here, check. Pawn to g6. 
is okay, I guess. Queen to h6, maybe. I still have this bishop. Or do I? Not so much. Let's see, knight takes pawn, takes knight here. Queen here, check. Pawn up, queen to h6. So my knight is over here on d2. This bishop is still kind of pinned. And how do I <clears throat> how do I make progress? I can take here with the knight, knight d2 to uh, e4, and then the queen can come into g7. And right here, the queen can take the h pawn. Mmm, tricky stuff. Still, I want to get rid of that. <laughs> I want to get rid of that knight. Actually, queen h6. No, castling is not legal after queen h6. If I play g6, yeah. queen h6, yeah. So, should I play king f8 and keep these pawns together here? He could get a rook on the f file pretty quickly. Okay, so let's go here. Allow queen h6. So that'll prevent me from castling. But it will allow me to take a pawn. So that's interesting. After queen here, queen h6, knight takes e5, queen g7. I have knight back to um, f7 defending the rook, which defends the pawn. So that kind of holds everything together. And then, uh, then maybe I can think of trading off here. Okay, he takes first. Not a problem. So. Uh, I've refrained from opening up this uh, file here. Now he plays queen h6, but this is not so good here, right? The queen can't come in. He can advance the pawn. Okay, so let's take here. At least it gives me some, some counterplay ideas. Maybe knight to f7 to chase the queen away. Knight to g4 in case uh, something wanders onto a dark square. It could be a nice fork. There are checks here and here. Okay, so the king runs away, but he brings a rook into the game. So now, now knight to um, knight to f7 hitting the queen. Aha! Uh -huh. uh, the queen really wants to go there. Let's just uh, trade off that queen. I'm a piece up. <laughs> I mean a pawn up, not a piece up. Why not just get rid of the queen? <clears throat> the queen can retreat out this diagonal. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Keeping pressure on the rook. So what's the idea here? Knight here is maybe a problem. Rook takes, pawn takes, knight takes, or knight takes, pawn takes, rook takes would be a interesting sacrifice. <clears throat> okay, I'm advancing this pawn so I can lift a rook up and bring it over. Okay, we're both using our time reasonably well, I think. Yeah, so he goes for the sacrifice. I was wondering about that. That looks interesting because it exposes my king here. Check. Mm hmm Okay, yeah, this is kind of forced. To check here, the king goes there. 
I was expecting him to take that pawn, but maybe he can round up that pawn anyway. Rook check here, I can just take it. So I think queen check here is the only real move. Or nothing at all. Wow. That's amazing, kind of. So he's going to bring the uh, the bishop up, huh? Well, let's... Um, Play the knight there and see what he does. A trade of queens would surely be good for me. So probably now he'll play this check. And the knight can go to um, <clears throat> e4 here to block the uh, e-file maybe if he doesn't grab this pawn in the next move or two. I think just check and taking the pawn is probably good. Check. Checking that way, okay. Didn't think that was so scary. I mean, my king wants to be over here on this side of the board anyway. The trade, I bring check. my rook over. Ah, that's the idea. That's good. That interrupted the defense of the uh, knight. Server announcement. So I want to hold on to my material. I mean, that's about all I have going for me here is my material. So uh, <laughs> let's uh, let's defend the knight. Queen is still hanging. So where's the next check? The next check is here. Check. Queen here. Check is mate. Whoa. Oh no, I have knight interpose. Okay. Yeah. So I don't see any other check besides queen there. Check and then knight there. The bishop is under attack. The queen is under attack. The rook check here doesn't look so exciting. Yeah, queen check here and knight to um, knight to c4, <clears throat> I think, is the move. And then after that, where's the next check coming from? I don't see it. So maybe I pulled a rabbit out of my hat. <laughs> you can play rook here, hitting my queen, but his his rook is hanging. His bishop is hanging. Well, not hanging, but I can trade his bishop. My rook is still under pressure from his queen, so I have to be careful not to leave that undefended. Let's see, I have some checks here, here. The knight is guarding squares around his king, so a check on the back rank would be fatal. So I can think of some offensive ideas here. Well, interesting attack here. Let's see. It's probably, uh, I, th I have a feeling I was lost. <laughs> and he, I think he just didn't play the best moves. Yeah, so he's retreating. Okay, so let's um, get the bishop off the back rank. And um, let's bring a rick over. So what's the material? Yeah, the material is just, I'm a, just a piece up here. Um, because I've got a knight and he doesn't, and the pawns are the same. There are various checks here that are covered at the moment. Maybe rook to um, e3 is an idea, hitting his queen. Rook takes, queen takes. He goes that way. So, well, let's check first. Check. See how he takes. Takes with the rook. Okay, so now um, my checks are here and here. Check here would get rid of the queen, but um, I would have to lose my knight. He has a check here. So what should I do? Um, and I need to save my rook. <laughs> okay, let's think about this. So 
there's some clever move after queen here, check. Queen takes, knight takes, I assume king takes, then it's my move. Do I have a great move with the rook or something? My king seems a little more active. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. So I, I would say one threat is rook here. That would be annoying. The other threat is queen takes rook. Um, okay. So I'm just going to bring the rook here. So that if he plays rook uh, e6 check, I have rook d6 to defend that way. A lateral defense. And uh, he might be reluctant to leave his back rank so exposed. Well, if I survive this, uh, it'll be a good example of how to <laughs> keep your cool during an attack. <laughs> Don't always assume the worst. Play, play optimistically. Of course, that only works if your, your opponent makes mistakes. <laughs> if you're playing a strong enough player, you'll get destroyed. Uh, it, it'll be interesting to see in the postmortem how I wandered into that uh, difficult position. If there's a way to prevent the knight sacrifice or Check. to prepare for it a little better. <clears throat> Fortunately, my queen is guarding the, um, the f6 square, so he doesn't have queen to f6 check. So now it really is getting down to... Um, there's a serious threat on the back rank to his king. So check drives the king to um, a2. Let's see, I can also just play pawn to d4 here. <clears throat> Leave my knight where it is. See where his queen is going. I think I've taken away a lot of squares where the queen could go. All this row is controlled. He could go to b... The queen could go to b3. That's about it. Queen b3 is the only move I see. Are there. Uh-huh. Now, see if I could trade queens, force enforce a trade of queens, that would be just winning. Um, there's also now checks here. Check. King to... A2. And queen here. Check. Queen to uh, C1, threatening mate. And as long as his queen has no checks, this diagonal, that row, that diagonal there, there. Oh, uh, his queen is threatening to take the pawn. Hmm. Oh, so queen here, then. Queen to c3 defends my pawn and threatens mate. And his queen has no checks. Okay, let's play that. <laughs> I would like to win this game. Having survived the attack, let's see if I can convert this. Yeah, so now it's a simple one. I can just uh, leave that knight there. He can never really get out of the box. I can just come over here and uh, win these pawns. Or he can, it just takes him forever. He has to go here, 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 here. <laughs> one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Uh, and I'll have killer pawns by then. This trade doesn't doesn't really help him. Knight is still defended. Oh, he can take this pawn, of course. He can just take that pawn, but I'm taking these over here. Keep my knight defended, and that's important. Okay, let's keep that pawn defended, too. Let's make this uh, not so easy for him. Again, push his pawn forward, I take. He pushes this pawn forward. Then I sacrifice the knight and take the other pawn over here. And it's a winning king and pawn endgame. So I think it's a routine win from here. Doesn't matter if they're rook pawns. His king is too far away.
White resigns. Okay, good game. I will upload this and do a postmortem. See you guys later. Bye.